Hi, it's Phil Walker, and here's today's tip on using the AMA guides. One of the biggest questions that I get is, when should I use the DRE method to rate the spine versus range of motion? And actually, it's not too complicated. It's just that the words seem a little confusing. Turn to Take out your AMA guides and turn to page 380. And in the upper left, you're going to see a paragraph, and it tells us you use the range of motion in these situations. First, when you have fractures at more than one level in the same spinal region. As you know, there are three regions of the spine, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. So if you have fractures at more than one level, for instance, in the cervical region, you use the range of motion. Second time you use it, when you have fusions at more than one level in the same spinal region. Third time you use it, when you've got radiculopathy that is either bilateral, meaning two-sided, or at multiple levels, meaning more than one level, in the same spinal region. And the fourth time you use it is when you've got radiculopathy, which comes from a disc herniation. And paragraph number four states, use it where there is recurrent radiculopathy caused by a new or recurrent disc herniation or a recurrent injury in the same spinal region. So those are actually the four times you use the range of motion. In all other cases, use the DRE. The DRE states that it's to be used when you have specific injuries. It states that it is the preferred method for rating the spine. And it also says a doctor should use it if he can't figure out whether he should use the DRE or the range of motion. So believe it or not, that should make, make things fairly simple. Oh, and let me give you one final thing. If it turns out that a patient can be rated under both methods, for instance, he's got a specific injury, which would be DRE, which produces fractures at more than one level in the same spinal region, then you rate him under both and you give him the higher rating. That's our tip for today. So remember, if you've got any questions, you can always reach me at phil at askphilwalker.com or you can telephone me at 877-774-5550 and you'll find information just like this and a ton more in my new book, The AMA Guides Made Simple, which you can order at www.askphilwalker.com. Remember, if you've got any questions about the guides or you've got any questions about California workers' compensation, just ask Phil Walker.